Hi, today I want to show you to make such videos that are very popular. So let's get started. Friends, this is Easy Blender channel and I make Blender tutorial videos. Please support my channel with subscription and likes. Thank you very much. Let's go to project. First add a plane for the ground. Upscale it about 200 times. Give it asphalt or mosaic texture or every desired material. Go to material and press new. Click on base color and choose image texture. Click on open. Choose a picture from your computer. If your picture is so big in size like more than 1 megabyte, your scene starts to get heavy. So choose a light picture. Now we have to multiply the texture to make it more realistic. Go to shading. Add a mapping node. Search for mapping. Then texture coordinate. Connect these two dots to each other. Then connect the generated to vector. And from scale, increase these numbers. Let's make it 200. Increase the metallic to 0 0.99 and roughness to maximum. Now we have our asphalt as a ground and we have to add some objects to compare to each other. As this video, we need some models for our project. You need either make your own model or download it from websites which are non-copyrighted. I download my models from Sketchfab website. Let's search for Sketchfab. Okay, here's the website. You have to search for your desired model. Let's search for nuclear bomb. And you have to be careful about copyright laws. So you must click on license and choose CC BY. This license allows you to use the model but you have to put the link of credit in your description. I will show you how. So click on the model. Please notice that if you want to use a lot of these models in your project, it must be low poly. Low poly means that your model has few vertices and triangle. These numbers are good for a medium spec computer. So I download this model. If the website asks you to log in first, you need to use your Gmail. Okay, I'm logged in with my Gmail. Now I want to download it. Click on download and choose GITF model. Now unzip the downloaded file. Remember, when you use these models in your project, you need to open the license file, then copy paste this in your project. You have to give the author an attribution, otherwise it's likely to get copyright claim. So do this. Now go to Blender and click on File and from Import choose GITF. Go to your desktop and choose the file. Ok, our model is imported. Select the ground plane, then press H to hide it. Select the model. Select all vertices. Now press Ctrl J to make it as one object. Ctrl J. Now our model is a single object. Click on X Gizmo. Then make your model flat to the ground. Press G, then Z, move it up. Now press Ctrl A and click on all transforms. Now unhide the ground plane by pressing Alt H. Now add another plane. Click on the model and press M. Click on new collection and name it Bomb Model. Now move the model or hide it. Let's hide it. Click on our new plane, then go to Geometry Nodes. And from here choose Render View. Click on New to add a new geometry node. Press Ctrl and right click and drag it to cut the connection. Add an instance on Point Node. Search for it and add join geometry node. And from outliner, click on bump model, then drag it into geometry nodes. Connect the geometry from object info to instance
add a grid node. Go to modifiers and geometry nodes. These are sizes of our plane. Increase the size like 50 by 35. If the plane is overlapping, you can move it down a bit. Click on N, then go to item, and from location, click on Z and move it down. Now it's hidden. Now let's increase the number of nuclear bombs like 10 by 5. Now we modeled like 50 of nuclear bombs. Let's search for number of nuclear bombs by each country. You can go to ChatGPT, search for number of nuclear bombs by each country. For example, North Korea has 50 of nuclear bombs and Israel has 90. Let's model the data for it. Just add another plane and do the same process. Move the plane to another place. Press G, then X. Now go to Geometry node, click on New, cut the connection, add a grid. And drag the bomb model into Geometry nodes as an instance. Connect the geometry to instance. Increase the size of plane from here. Or if these are not connected, you can do it from here. Let's make it 100 by 70. Move the plane a bit. You can see Israel has 90 nuclear bombs. So it's 10 by 9. Go to item. Then click on Z and decrease the number. Now go to layout, then add a text. Press Shift A, then choose text. Upscale it about 10 times. Rotate it, then move the text to desired position. Give that a good font. Rotate it by option. Then insert the name of country. Press tab for editing. Now give the text a color for material. Click on new and choose a color. Let's add an HDRI. Choose an HDRI file from a computer. Ok, now we have sky. Now copy paste the text for next country. Select the text, then Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. Press G, Shift Z, then move it. Add the next country's data. I know some of you guys don't like this country, but don't take it seriously, just data about it, nothing more. You can edit your text for, you for better looks. Now it's time to add a flag. You must add a plane first. Move the plane, then rotate it. Make the dimensions like a flag. Add a flag picture. Press tab, right click on the object, then click on subdivide. Repeat this about 5 times. Select the vertex mode. Choose the vertices on the edge. Go to Object Data Properties. Add a vertex group by clicking here. Rename it to Pin. Then click Assign. Press Tab and go to Object Mode. Then go to Physics Properties. And click on Cloth. Go down to Collisions. Click on it. Then check Self Collisions. Now click on shape and from pin group choose the pin. Right click on the object and click on shade smooth. Now we need a wind force for our waving flag. Press shift A then choose the wind.
Set the wind behind the flag. Rotate it 90 degrees from Y axis. You can see the direction is in the flag. Select the wind force then go to physics properties. Increase the strength to about 1000. Uh, now press play. Now go to frame 0. Select the flag. Then go to physic properties. Choose start and end frame. Set the end frame on 1000. And extend your timeline frames. Click on bake. Select the flag, then the pole. Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. Press G, Shift Z, and bring it here. Press play. Now delete this flag. We want a copy from this flag. Select it. Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. Now press play. Now we have to use a camera for render. Click on camera view. Shift and back tick for activate camera navigation. Press W to move forward. Scroll it up to zoom in the camera. Go to frame 0. Press I to insert the keyframe. Insert 100, then move to another position. Press I again, then enter 250. These numbers are optional. Move to another position. Press I again, then frame 400. Press I. Go to frame 0 and press play. Enter the 600, then move the camera to another position. Press I, then enter 800. Press I again. Okay, now we have a beautiful comparison animation. That's it for this video. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.